everybody really needs to focus on extreme heat and the impact that it's having on the health of children. The extreme heat millions of people have been dealing with over this summer is our new reality. Schools are now working on new types of heat plans to prepare for what comes next. It is getting hotter. We have data that shows that over time, it's not only climate change, but also a lot of these schools are in urban areas. And it's the urban heat island effect that is particularly intense on these school yards, particularly ones that are paved and in uh, inner cities where there's a lot of built infrastructure and streets and concrete around them that's retaining that heat. Melissa Guajardo is part of a team at Arizona State University that partnered with public health experts and school leaders to develop heat-ready schools. The program is expanding to more school districts in Arizona, but Guajardo says it's really something that could be implemented anywhere. Something that works, let's say, in one city in Arizona might have to be uh, changed slightly to work in other areas as well. But the important point is that everybody really needs to focus on extreme heat and the impact that it's having on the health of children. The program includes education around heat-related issues like identifying heat illness, also policies a school can add around heat to make kids safer and changes that schools can make to playgrounds like adding more trees for shade. I really think there's massive opportunities to be creating playgrounds that are climate proof or heat proof, right? That term thinking about What's the opportunity to create a park cool island here, not a mini heat island? Jennifer Vanos has seen the impact that playground change can have firsthand in her work with Paidea Academies in Phoenix. They completely redesigned their playgrounds to mitigate temperature, sun exposure, and flooding. Vanos says that they've had interest from North Carolina recently about bringing the Heat Ready Schools program there. California is another place working on its own school heat plans. Bills moving through the state legislature would require master plans to make schools more climate and heat resilient. The governor also recently announced grants to help schools convert asphalt to green spaces and to plant trees to increase shade.